I honestly didn't think I'd be doing this again this soon. What's that? Hi, I'm Dave and I'm jacking up my 98 Alteza. Again. Coolant. Why? Was that oil? It's one or the other. So I'm going in here again. The aim is to do something better than this. This is what somebody else did and I copied it, but I'm not happy with it. Step one is gonna be to drain the fluid. First to find out what this leak is. Is it coolant or oil? Really good non-specific location. I don't see anything wet under here. A lot of liquid on the ground, but I don't see anything sort of dripping here. My oil cooler lines are kind of slimy, but I don't know if they drip like that. Maybe it's just residual on the hoses. That is hard to know. Anyway, I came under here to undo the... To what did I come under here to do? I came under here to drain the clutch master cylinder again. That's over there. You've seen me do this before. There's spiders everywhere, or spider webs everywhere. Gonna run with this bad boy. I might go get a light too. Oh, Franken light's turning itself on and off. Well, there's a spider. Get the fuck out of here. Go on. I'm no closer to knowing where this is coming from. Like, that's wet. This end looks pretty dry. It could be just residue left over inside the braid. Oh, the spider webs just off. You do a shit job anyway, like, you still get eaten by mosquitoes, which means you do, you're not doing your fucking job. What am I keeping you around for? Now the camera's right underneath this, so that's, that's the wrong location clearly. How about like, fucking, how about like, tripod says fucking no. I'd have been done by now if I wasn't fucking around with the camera. Gotta get the angles right, man. I don't know if you can, oh, just smash my arm on the shit. <clears throat> right, you go on. You fall in there. That's what I wanted. Yep. Let's get the, off there for the second. Oh, it fell off, but I can't actually remove it. Um, now, which way are we undoing? We're undoing the normal way, which is quite possibly this way. I'm going to smash my fucking fingers. There we go. Cracked that. Yeah, there's a lot running down my fingers. I go open up the lid, that should come out a lot faster. I might give the, uh, the clutch a bit of a push. The wild thing about that is when you touch the clutch pedal, it actually pulls itself to the floor. Guess that means it's empty. I'm gonna put another bucket under there and spray the crap out of this. Maybe that will help us find out where the leak is coming from now that it's sort of cleanish. Maybe not. Who knows? That's actually a trust oil cooler. I didn't know that. The more you know. Buying used shit off Yahoo auction. Ryan was like, you bought a used oil cooler. That's bold. I mean, he kind of has a point, doesn't he? Especially with my track record of buying things doesn't go the best even when I buy new buy just just roll away slip sliding away oh what the hell why is the camera on in my pocket hey Google play slip sliding away by whoever the fuck sung it sorry I didn't understand okay never mind so if we undo this um I mean, well, that's handy. Wish there was a faster way to do this. I can't imagine doing this with the OEM plenum in here. Like, it's this big. Like, you can't even see this thing. We've got no drippage at all, which is great. That's what I like to see. A lack of drippage. I'm going to need a pair of side cutters. Uh, cut that one off. Goodbye. Yeet. Cut that one off. Yeah. Hi that. Went in. And, oh, that one just fell off, so that's fine too. Okay, I'm not gonna bother removing the pin here. I'll take it to the bench and do that. So we have to undo the clutch pedal, and there's two 12 mil bolts that attach to the firewall on the other side. Why haven't I finished wiring that up? Go over there. Because if you finished wiring that up, that would mean that you'd finished something and you never finish anything. So the fact that it's not finished, it makes perfect sense. 
that split pin, we have to get that out. And then the two bolts. Well, I think I see one of them. I cannot see the other one. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, shit. That's not easy to get at. Oh, wow. This is really bad. What were they thinking when they did that? This is me right now. I'm upside down and I've got my arm wedged sort of up next to my head. The sill of the car in my back. I'm on a rack. Rack city, bitch. This is what we've got going on for ratchet action. All right. Okay, so we got that one. Getting this back in is probably going to f***ing blow. Hopefully that round silver bit there fits back through that hole, because if it doesn't, we're f***ed. Right, does it come out? So that answer to that is a yes. Look at that. There you go. Alright, get this off here. Hopefully don't drop fluid everywhere. Now it's time to take this to the bench. Remember that pin that I had so much trouble putting in? Well, now I've got to get it out of there. So, hooray for me. Could we use an Allen key? Why not? Allen key it is. Allen, I found your keys and we're using them. You know, for the wrong thing. It is coming out. Ever so f***ing slowly, but yeah, it is coming out. Hey, Yeet. Okay, we're out. Oh, goodbye. Hi, welcome back. The goal here is to actually tap that and put a fitting in it. I don't really like my chances, actually. I don't know, I don't know if this is gonna work. I need to learn how big this is. That's 16 millimeters. So we understand the assignment here. I've got to connect that up to the top of this. Previously, I had it connected to this, which is off a of RAV4, and this is 10 mil. The container has an eight mil barb. This is the hose I'm using. So I had an eight mil hose connected to a hose adapter which ran a 10 mil hose to my uh, master cylinder here. But I've got another idea. I remember that on the standard intake manifold, there's this banjo bolt here, just on the end for the brake booster. So if I can get this hose to go on here, like, like it just did, then I can put this banjo bolt on top of the master and um, we'll be golden. It's got a hook on the back of it. That's interesting. Gonna need to get new washers, but that'll be okay. Clean this up, and then it's gotta go in here. So I'm gonna need an adapter. The thread pitch for this is M12 1.25, and I just so happen to have that tap here. I need to tap this out to whatever fits. Half inch PT looks to line up perfectly, won't have to drill. I went to Super Viva home and I got some pieces. This is a half inch PT to one eighth, all right? And it's stainless steel, very smooth on top. One problem I see is that this is quite big. It's very high up on the thread, like this is tapered. And honestly, if it's not sort of down here somewhere, then I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get that in deep enough for this thread to be able to bite. So this could be over before it really begins, but I kind of have to try, because I need to know whether this is possible or not. And you do too. So this might end up being junk. We'll find out next time on Garage K. I don't really want to pull the thing apart just to tap it. So I'm gonna do this sort of upside down-ish where you can't see, so that any schwarf won't end up inside. So yeah, I'm just gonna load this in upside down-ish. Get a little bit of oil on here, a little bit of oil of whatever. I remember someone telling me you don't need to use oil when tapping aluminium, or may, they might have gone as far as to say don't, but I mean, my memory's shite. It is biting and we are creating schwarf, but none of it is falling in because of one of John Mayer's favorite things. Gravity. I don't like my chances of being able to do this, honestly. One of the hardest things here is actually keeping the thing straight. It wants to wiggle around everywhere. I think that's partially because the hole's the wrong size. I'm probably just ruining this, you know. There's an actual fabricator watching this going, what the f are you doing? 
Just ruining something, don't mind me. This is really difficult to do. It's supposed to have an 18 mil hole. Hopefully it'll just keep eating until it, it works. Feed, my pretty, feed, feed. Yes, eat that. Uh, I don't know if this was a good idea. I really don't. It is actually cutting. It's very, very slow, but it is cutting. How long have we been doing this? 28 minutes. 40 minutes I've been doing this now. No closer to it. I might be at the end too there. Yeah, we have. We've, we've maxed out depth on the, the tap. Like, the hole isn't deep enough to get the tap in far enough. You can see we've put tap in it. This tap is tapered, and this taper starts too late. So it's already too big before I even get to the tap that I've created, you know, like there's just no chance for this to, to go in. So this is a bust, like there's no way to do this. Tapping with um, one half PT, while it did look like a good idea, was never going to work because the fittings that I can get, they start too far up on the taper. I've already gone in this far on the tap, but this fitting doesn't start until sort of here, which is f***ing stupid. Even though this was upside down, there is still schwarf floating around up in there. Okay, so that comes off. Then there's a release pin in there. So let's get that out of there. Yeah, and we've got brake fluid coming out of everywhere, even though it was supposedly empty. So that's out of there. And it looks like that thing I'm having problems with at the bottom, that is actually, that's part of the casting, I think. So shit out of luck, I think we're f***ed. The only way around this would be to actually cut the tap off here and then start again, if you know what I mean. I don't know if that's such a good, really I'm gonna cut the tap to do this? I'll do it the other way, go from here, mate. Oh, it is, it's actually threading in. Of course it is, you didn't, you didn't think this was going to be a fail, did you? Actually, I kind of did expect it to fail. I've been at this for Oh shit, I mean look at the time, I've been out here for hours. This is much like the follow me through hell videos that I did a long time ago. I ended up cutting this again to take another couple of thread off and I've almost got it to where I want it, but not quite. This is actually proving to be a lot easier than putting this in the vise. Just put the, the tap in the vise. You might be asking yourself, why am I doing this when it worked? perfectly well the other way. I just wasn't happy with it. And when I'm not happy with something, it eats at me. Drive the car. Hard for you to see, but there is a little lip down in there. I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna take that off using this bit. With the right bit, that happens quite quick. But I didn't find this until I'd spent about an hour using other things to try to get it to work. See, I've cleaned that up. See the edge is gone. It's bloody beer o'clock, I reckon. Just hitting that end gently. And then it just moves just ever so slightly. Or is that the tap falling down? One or the other. Stop running away. What are you running away from? Me, this stupid shit. Yeah. What do you think of that? I reckon that's pretty good. I'm happy with that, so that's what we're gonna run with. Now I need to drill that out. You mean we're not done? Not even close. I have to drill that out and tap that. Lucky that's a straight tap though, so that shouldn't be as difficult, but this is stainless, so drilling it out to 11 mil might be difficult. You doing that all over the floor? Yeah, it's gonna clean the floor. I bought this here, which is un unopened. I don't need that in my hand at the moment. I can't open it. Okay, so this is a big, just a big fitting with the correct size in it so that I could hold the thing while I drilled it. Yeah, and it bit. 
Yeah, so that doesn't work very well. Going to need to hold it. And that's not big enough. Which means I probably don't have anything that is big enough. So I think I'm gonna have to go by hand. Once again, Ricky to the rescue. The flat batteries. We need to go all the way to 11. This is not gonna be fun. 9.5. Yep, it's just burning its way through. This is not good. Yep, we're gonna abandon that idea. Try the 10 mil instead, that's a good idea. Mm-hmm. Bringing out the big guns. Hitachi power. Need some sharp drill bits. That's really blunt. Not meant for cutting stainless, probably. I don't think I've got any stainless cutting in 10 mil drill bits. Just as I said that, I found a brand new 10.5. It needed to be 10.8, right? Well, that's uh, that's beautiful. That's gonna cut right through that, hopefully. It was cutting. It's not anymore. I think I made it blunt. All right, we're through. The noise for the night has finished, my poor neighbors. You know, I think I can probably do away with this and just put this in here if it doesn't burn me, which I think it, it's trying to do. I should not have bought stainless steel. There was like a brass option and I should have taken that. I'd have been finished by now. Gotta be very careful I don't break the tap off in here. I ended up drilling it out to 11 as well because 10.5 was just not doing it. It's now quarter past 10. This is so much more work than I signed up for. Um, just that was a nightmare, but this, this is taking ages. It's just not budging. My hands hurt from reefing on this tap. Washed my hands, got a beer, and uh, we're back out to this again. Not there yet. What time is it? 10.39. Um, let's put some more, I mean it is wet, but let's put some more oil on it. A shit ton. More oil than is uh, sensible. Enough oil to cause a US invasion. It's now 11.05 and I'm out of beer. I need to go upstairs again. My shoulder hurts from doing this shit. What time is it? It's 20 past 11. This is a man's fidget spinner. Oh, throw the banjo on the ground real quick. Look at that, we run the whole, the tap all the way through. Let's get it the f back out of there again. Sip a beer, cheers, we're f through mate. It's not perfect because it's still f my life. We're officially through and it is 11.27 at night. So I think it was like eight. Oh, me. Now why I can't just buy that, I don't know. Wonderful. Yeah, little teapot. I might leave that there because it does actually look like a teapot but I mean if you could just buy this that would have saved me a lot of time loosen that off angle it where I want it hold it and then tighten the f out of it after I finish this I just got this file I'm running it around the inside edge of the thread if you copy this make sure you do this because there's big chunks of material coming off and you don't want that in your clutch line that just fell out of there so you want to spend some time deburring. This is a really nice piece, actually. It really is a nice piece. Why can't you buy that? Why did I have to make it? That's great. Okay, so tidy that up with some parts cleaner and we're good to go. Okay, clean this up. I used diesel and then cleaned the diesel off with parts cleaner. So that's very clean. Same goes for my banjo bolt. And uh, that all goes together very, very nicely. You may also notice that I spent some time removing the casting marks, the area that housed the pin, and all of the mounting platform. Now for those of you that would like to go remote reservoir, but what I did here looks like way too much work, check out this video and see how I had it set up before. It worked just fine and was nowhere near as much effort as this. 